Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Xplain 12. Few days back I uploaded a video on my channel in which I've shown you how to update the ARAC cycle for the Flight Factor Airbus A320. That method was actually working for me as well and it, I hope it worked for all of you as well. But somehow after the recent update of Xplain 12 and the Flight Factor Airbus A320 Ultimate, the ARAC cycle was reset and uh, once I was trying to do the same um, thing, uh, the ARI cycle was not getting updated. It was to actually update the ARI cycle using the Navigraph FMS Data Manager. And over here, if you can see, there was this folder added, CIFP, and I was doing it manually. So afterwards, you can see there are three instances. Uh, one I'm using directly for the Xplain 12, then a third, second one I was using this folder. And after this uh, third technique, I was using the data folder. But somehow the ARAC cycle was not getting updated. I don't know. Um, maybe I was doing something wrong, but it was not getting updated. So I found a trick and this trick worked well for me. If you're watching this video for the first time and you're really not sure how to get the ARAC cycle updated. So uh, this is a good video because I'm going to take you through the um, uh, very, uh, what you can say, initial stages of uh, updating the ARAC cycle. In order to update the ARAC cycle, um, you should have a Navigraph subscription. The ARAC cycle actually consists of all the information for the airways and the waypoints and the airports. So while making a flight plan, it really works for you. You have to have a Navigraph subscription. It's not that expensive. Um, it's, um, it's affordable, uh, which will work for you. Uh, it works for me as well. You get access to all the charts and everything. Plus you can also have a yearly subscription. So once you are subscribed to um, the Navigraph site, all you have to do is just go to your account. So once you are in your account, you have to go to downloads and then you have to go to this option nav data. So this has all the navigation uh, data for different planes and different uh, flight simulators. So in order to have the FMS data manager for Windows, the one that I've shown you at the beginning of this video, you can simply download it from here. You can install it, you can log into that instance and then you can uh, update the ARAC cycle. But in this video, I'm going to tell you another trick which I found out that uh, you have to click this option, nav data manual installation. So if you cannot update uh, the ARAC cycle using the FMS data manager, you can manually update it. If you scroll down, you will see flight factor ABUS A320 Ultimate. And here you go. So this is the flight factor ABUS A320 Ultimate. All you have to do is just click Windows and the Windows instance of this ARAC cycle will be downloaded to your system as a zip file. I always download all the files in a folder in my D drive, explain 12 data, you can have any folder that you want and uh, it will be downloaded as FFA320U underscore native underscore 2209. So 22 is the year, that is 2022 and 09 is the month, that's September. Right click and uh, extract to the folder. You select this option. So the files will be extracted. Once you open this folder, you will see another folder data. And then once you go into the folder, you will see four or five files, uh, nav1, nav2, cycle info, and cycle. Now you have to go into the installation directory of Xplain 12 and find the aircraft folder where you have to actually paste these files, copy and paste these files. I am not using the Steam version because I, um, I bought the early access uh, the, the moment it was launched. So that's why I have a standalone installation of Xplain 12. But if you have the Steam version, you can find it in the Steam library. So this is the installation directory in my D drive, Xplain 12 installed. Then within Xplain 12, there is a folder that's aircraft. And I have uh, um, uh, just installed the A320 Ultimate in the Lamina Research folder. You can have another folder if you want, but I have just uh, pasted it in the same folder. Then if you go to this FFA320 Ultimate, this is a Flight Factor Airbus A320 Ultimate folder. Within this folder, you have to go to Aircraft and then within the Aircraft folder, there is another folder. Uh, you will find Flight Factor A320 Ultimate and within this folder, you will find this folder data. So this is the path that you have to follow. Let me just show you. So you go to um, the aircraft with an x 12 and then go to, just ignore this folder because this is uh, the folder created by 
FMS data manager once I was trying to update the ARAC cycle, but it didn't work. So go to Levinar Research and uh, let's find A320 Ultimate aircraft and then within the aircraft another folder and then you will find data. Now over here you will see two files, nav1 and nav2. This is actually the database for the navigation. So all you have to do is just copy those two files or copy all the four files and just paste them over here. So let's uh, copy those uh, files and paste them over here. While pasting, uh, it will ask you to replace the files in the destination. Just click this option and the files will be replaced. Now the ARAC cycle is updated. Let's go and have a look at the plane in X-Plane 12 and let's see whether the ARAC cycle is updated or not. As you can see it on your screens that the ARAC cycle for this plane is now updated. If you look at the MCDU, uh, the ARAC cycle is now updated from 8th September to 6th of October and the year is 2022. So this is how you update the ARAC cycle for this plane. If the FMS data manager from Navigraph is not working for you, you cannot update the ARAC cycle. You can do it manually from here. If you've got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section uh, regarding this issue and I will be more than happy to respond to your questions. If there is a delay, kindly excuse me for this because I have a busy schedule. Uh, so at times I'm, I'm, I'm slightly late in responding to all the questions. If you want to add anything to this video, you're more than most welcome. And with this, I would just like to end my video. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.